John 16.8 Kai Elthon Ekenos Elinxe ton Cosmon Peri Hamartias Kai Peri Dikaiasunes Kai Peri Chryseos Here Jesus instructs his disciples concerning the coming of the Spirit. Jesus says, And when he comes, that one will convict, will reprove, will correct the world concerning sin and concerning righteousness and concerning judgment. It's interesting. We have these three repeated, these prepositional phrases here, these three peri phrases, and they give the reference to which the Holy Spirit uh, reproves or convicts or corrects the world. Reproves the world with reference to what? Well, with reference to sin and righteousness and with, to judgment. So three prepositional phrases communicating reference. Let's look at this elinxe right here. Elinxe. It's a little bit of a mouthful to say, isn't it? The lexical form is also a mouthful. Elinko. Remember when you have a gamma and a kappa together, it's a unk sound. It's a unk sound. So that's why we say elinko, el elinko there as we pronounce that. Elinko is a verb that means to reprove, to correct, to expose, to convict. You'll notice how a sigma has combined in here in the form that we have in the verse. We have a future active indicative third person singular. He will reprove. And the, the subject here is ekenos, that one, the Holy Spirit. This elthone, I don't know if that threw you off, but you might have recognized the ending there, that own. Some of you say, oh, that's gender the plural. But no, on a verbal form, it is not. It is here it is it is the nominative masculine singular form, right? Lu own, lu usa, lu on, luantas. I'm writing out the present forms of the participle own, usa, on, antas. That's masculine. So we have that own ending there. We know that's a nominative masculine singular, present active participle for luo, but here that the stem, oh, this is building on the second aristem of Aelthon. Elthon, the second heiress of Erkamai. Erkamai means I go or come. Elthon means I came. So we yank off the augment because participles don't have augments and we're left with the stem elth. Second heiress participles use present participle ending. So there's our second heiress stem. We slap on our present participle ending and we have elthon. So that is an aorist active participle. It's nominative masculine singular because it's telling us about ekenos, about that one, about the spirit. We translated that temporally. It's certainly adverbial. Uh, temporally, when he comes. Uh, but it also obviously has a sense of causal, right? Because he comes, when he comes, or by his coming. Uh, it, there's an overlap, isn't there, between a temporal and, and causal or temporal and instrumental in, in the uh, presentation here. 